Hello and welcome to What's Cooking Good Looking. My name is Cataract Dupraybert and I'm a Swiss chef who likes to cook vegan food. Who's to judge me? No, you start with today we are making Indian Bolognese with Good. Beluga lentils. Yes. Yes, we are. You start by chopping up an, uh, uh, an onion and then you fry it in two tablespoons of uh, canola oil. Yeah, do that now. So there's canola oil in onion and now we are going to press two garlic cloves into that. Or, well, in my case, four, because I always double the amount of garlic because... I never said this is too much garlic. So we're going to use one of these and I'm going to show you a nifty hack later on. There we go. That's two and that's four. To this we are supposed to add a sort of a tablespoon of grated ginger and I have a little hack using this one. I don't know if you know but you can sort of press uh, ginger through one of those. Garlic press says, says. So let's do that. Oh. Here we go. Oh, and by the way, for this to work, the, the uh, ginger has to be really fresh and you sort of chop them up in little chunks so that it's easy managed. So this is not something I always do. I just do it with, um, you know, sometimes. To this, you add a half a teaspoon of freshly ground cumin, half a teaspoon of chili powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric, and half a teaspoon of garam masala. And you know, <laughs> I've been using the same sort of spices for these three Indian recipes. So there should be some sort of just a spice blend that is sort of everything Indian, right? Would be so much easier. Well, now you fry. Then you add two deciliters of beluga lentils. These are small black lentils and they sort of stick, well, they're not, they don't get like red lentil sort of get mushy and green as well. These sort of are better, they stick, they stay compact. Then you add a can of chopped tomatoes. And you also add four deciliters of water. And then you put a lid on it and let it simmer for 30 minutes. See you then. Well, here we go, my Indian Bolognese. So I will just have a taste test. I'm really not hungry. Okay, people, here we go. Look at this loveliness. Mm. This is really good. I can totally recommend it. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.